don't get me wrong, I wasn't not proud to wear it because the number nine, I mean, as far as everyone else can, is a significant number. Uh, but for me, it was just, it was, it was this, you know, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have cared if it was, you know, 99 or, you know, one or, or whatever. It doesn't matter. The badge matters. That's, that's the, the most important, and that will always be the most important thing. How's it going? Good Quite to see you. Yeah. Good to see you. I like that one straight like away. Proud, yeah. Thank you for coming on. This is what I wore. Pleasure. So basically we have carved out the best collection of shirts to kind of tell the Robbie Fowler story. So as a tradition, we kind of get our guests to always wear a shirt. So we've got you this one here. Will it fit me? I mean, I'm not as um, small as what? I watch Harry's Heroes, isn't it? I know you're back see, in shape. See this so. one, this shirt, I'm, not everyone knows the colour of this one. Ecru. 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 Just as you pull it on, how did you like your shirts to fit while she was wearing? I remember just making my debut for Liverpool and it was not a, what size he wanted, it was just put that shirt on, so we, we didn't you generally just didn't have a choice. Nice one. So we're going to start with you growing up, um, okay. Liverpool in the 80s. Tough start, actually. <laughs> I mean, that was the FA Cup 86. I did grow up an Everton fan and I grew up with my mum. You know, my mum's side of the family were all blues and uh, obviously, you know, my dad would take me to game. How important were the blues to you growing up then? I actually, one Christmas, I actually got an Everton bike, so I was... It's blued up. It was just a blue <laughs> bike, yeah. I mean, it, a, a blue bike with, um, you know, with an Everton sticker on it. It wasn't just an Everton kit, I remember having... This sounds really silly, this, but I had, a, I think I had an Aston Villa top as well. Really? And I also had a, a Tottenham shirt as well. So you were just a fan I, of football? I haven't got yeah. a clue why, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. well, I've, Love football. Just love football. You know, I, I did. You know, really enjoy watching. You know, good teams. And in terms of you know Liverpool, Everton. You know, I was never sort of an horrible Everton fan where I disliked anyone. So just just growing up in Liverpool in the eighties, obviously a tough time. Was these two shirts like a signal of hope for the city? We did have a tough time certainly in the eighties. I mean, where I grew up as nineteen eighties, there was the riots, and that was a real tough time. So I think football was. I think it was a way for everyone just to forget what was happening. I think it was a big release for everyone, you know, Everton and Liverpool, because obviously, you know, what was happening in the turmoil that was happening within the uh, within society. So we're going to move on to '93, which was your debut season, putting on this shirt here. Um, how significant was this shirt for you? Um, I mean, it, it's huge, you know, and I, when you when you're a kid, and look, don't get me wrong, I, I did have, I mean. For example, I, I'd have wore this one. In fact, I probably wore most of them. Actually, so this, <laughs> this one. So when you when you're playing schoolboy football, you put these shirts on, uh, and it's brilliant. So whenever you are representing a football club, it's you know even if it's Sunday league, you know to put that shirt on for the first time, there's always a special feeling. It really is. But when you get a chance to maybe put you know a shirt on like this, I mean that is yeah. I mean, it's hard to put into words. I mean, you can have every superlative under the sun. It's years and years of hard work, years of dedication. Um, and, you know, all of a sudden you get this chance. Uh, you know, I'm in the dressing room with... I mean, I think legend is used far too much in football. But you have it this really guy. is. Absolutely. Again, you know, it, it's... I mean, look, I, I'm saying this, so re legend is used too much in football, really is. When I got into the Liverpool side, you know, I'm in a dressing room that is full of absolute bona fide legend. You know, playing up front, you know, with Rushy. It's a dream. I'm a kid. Now, Robbie, I've got to be cheeky and ask you, growing up as an Everton fan, in the same year, if they came in for you and offered, would, yeah. you have, would you have gone? I went to Liverpool. Liverpool was my first choice. Uh, they were my first choice because they were the first club that came in for me. Was there any temptation though? Absolutely not a chance. No, no, no. chance. I was, by this time, I'm, You're I'm in, as red as invested, they come, yeah. yeah. So, we're going to talk about your debut season for a little bit. You get off the mark in the League Cup. Can we, can we go by this one? Can, I know you can. want to go by that one. <laughs> but see this one, so not too many people know that. I was, um, I was subbed the first year of the Premier League. The last game against Tottenham, we won 6-2. Uh, and I was sub, I mean, I was probably not ready, even being totally honest. I put this coat on and I'm sat there <laughs> and, you know, I'm looking in the bench and it, and it looks as though it's absolutely swimming on me. That was maybe the first really thing that I, I you know, when I look back fondly on my career and, you know, I'm, I remember this, this yeah. top as though it's, I mean, it was yesterday, but, you know, putting it on for the first time was brilliant. Does this coat remind you of Sunis at all? I mean, Sue, for me, Sue was brilliant. I think anyone, Anyone will tell you whenever they you know find a manager who gives them that first opportunity to sort of be involved in the first team. I mean, I'll always have well, I'm always indebted for that. Well, three goals against Arsenal. Mm -hmm. 
quickest hat trick until recently. That day when you put on this shirt, did you feel invincible? Like, what did you eat for breakfast that you just, everything just you went know right what? for you? I'd love, I'd love to remember, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I would love to, I mean, what I remember that is obviously the, the, the significance of the, the, the goals at the time, you know, I didn't know. Um, it was not until afterwards people told me you know, how quick it was. I think when you're playing, it's, it's sort of time stands still. You know, I actually thought it was about 10, 15 minutes. You know, I think it was 20 years. I think Sadio Mane is now beating it, but mine's better. So I want to move on to your next season, which is when you became God, quote unquote. This is probably my favourite year. Well, I've got two favourite shirts for Liverpool. This is certainly up them, up, up there. Maybe doesn't look the greatest, but I think uh, I mean obviously with the Abbey you know, cricket style collar there. But I think you know any any player will tell you. I mean I, I, I did like the shirt. Well, sure as well people, great. people bring that up to obviously the FA Cup final yeah. was was not great. But you know when I think back at my football career, I think my certainly best year was was wearing these. These two. Um, and I, I actually loved them. I thought that kit was brilliant. I really did. Uh, but that one, you know, because I scored a lot of goals. Did you feel like you're most confident in a football shirt at this point in time? Yes, but I'm I'm a confident lad anyway. You know, I mentioned before about being in a dressing room with with legends, proper legends, and I, it didn't phase me because I'm not saying I deserve to be there, but I, I felt comfortable there. You know, because obviously this inner belief, and I think that sort of helps you score goals and 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 be a little bit of a player. Uh, you know, I wasn't certainly big-headed or you know egotistical. It was just like a, a bit of inner confidence. Talking about being down to earth, you, ha you did this iconic celebration. Mm -hmm. Was this a way to just to show people that you're still a part of the people that you support, the people of Liverpool? Not, not really, no, because I, I, I'm obviously a Liverpool lad, and I think people know obviously my history with with Liverpool anyway. So I've got one side of you know, the city you know, like me, and there's <laughs> not so much. But you know, at the time, you know, we mentioned about you know the hardships of of the 80s and you know growing up. But certainly the 90s, uh, you know, all the dockers were, were going on strike and uh, a lot of them were, you know, were losing his job. So, you know, it was, again, it was Steve McManaman who's, you know, I think he had a, an uncle at the time and he was losing his job. So it was a case of getting out there and supporting them. Um, you know, their, their plight wasn't getting aired anywhere else other than, you know, the, the, the surrounding of where they were. So, I mean, he initially just brought this uh, T-shirt in, so put this on and we, you know, we'll walk around after the game. And obviously me being me, you know, scored a goal, um, couldn't help it, but lifted up the shirt and, and the publicity and, you know, and the whatnot they got from that was, was incredible. Was it almost fearful to kind of, because footballers nowadays are scared to stick their neck out, they're like so media trained. Was it, was it, did you feel any fear that you was going to, you know, make No, make, because, make you know, I, I didn't, I mean, again, you know, you talked before about understanding the politics and I think when you are a footballer, you, you sort of cocoon. It's not me being all, you know, or you're a footballer, you get out there and show everyone. That's me being, me the being human. exactly. So Robbie, then you became number nine. Yeah. For the famous Liverpool, how important was this day becoming number nine? You, you know what? I mean, I really, really should say it's, it's probably one of the best days ever. But for me, it, it's not about you know, it's not about this or it's not about that. As much as you know, the significance of that number is brilliant. Um, and nine honestly plays a, a huge you know role in my life. You know, I'm born on you know the ninth of April. We got married on the ninth of June. My little lad's born on the ninth of May. Um, so it, it plays a big part. So you know. Me being nine sort of just seemed to fit in. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't not proud to wear it because the number nine, I mean, as far as everyone else can, is a significant number. Uh, but for me, it was just, it was, it was this, you know, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have cared if it was, you know, 99 or, you know, one or, or whatever. It doesn't matter. The badge matters. That's, that's the, the most important, and that will always be the most important thing. In the 90s, you've come across some great number nines. Like, I just want to you rank yourself. What, where do you rank these guys as some of the best <laughs> Premier League I mean, now, oh, what, an or, what an horrible question that is. But <laughs> I mean, I said before, I was, you know, a little bit confident. And, you know, you look at these players and, you know, the likes of Alan Shearer, Les Fernand, you know, Viali, you know, Jimmy Floyd, you know. I mean, these are all unbelievable players. And I would back myself against anyone. And it that. sounds stupid because my record might not be as good as, as any of them. Um, but you never felt out of place? No, I never did. So you're having an illustrious career at Liverpool yep. and then this guy comes in. A lot yep. of people would have said he was a threat to your career, but did you see him like that or did uh, you not embrace at all. him? No, no, of course I did. You know, I'm, I'm a team player. I want to, you know, my team to have good players and I want them to sort of score goals and, and help me win what I wanted to. So it is what it is. And, you know, was I disappointed? Of course not. You know, Michael is a, a great player, scoring goals and he's scoring goals for my club. Uh, when he's scoring goals for my club, 
That's what I did. want. Gerard Julio came in, um, joint manager. Was that yep. a weird time for you? Did it kind of... Very, very strange. I mean, Liverpool certainly has a club in the side of us. You know, we should never have you know, a joint manager. Um, you know, that's not me disliking Gerald or disliking Roy. I think, uh, you know, certainly as a club, you should have went down one route. Um, you know, for me, Roy was going, uh, you know, the right way. He had a great team. But likewise, when Gerard came in, he um, he knew what he wanted to do. I mean, he was a clever manager. Um, I'm not saying we, we see an eye to eye all the time. Uh, obviously, we had a few fallings out, but, you know, I fell out with, with every manager who hasn't played me because I want to play. I really do. Um, but. I've no problem with it, with him. I mean, maybe he could have been a little bit more truthful you know, with, with me at times. Uh, you know, I know other clubs came in for me. Um, he always said to me he didn't want to sell me, but um, you know, he did. I want to talk about the treble season in 2001. Yeah, it was probably a little bit of a bitter, bitter sweet season actually. I haven't been. I played, you know, a few games, scored a few goals. He's um, got a great goal in his shirt. Though, yeah, kick, that's one that. of my favourite goals actually over at kick against Charlton. Uh, but, you know, I didn't play as many games as what I would have, would have liked. But I still, you know, you know, more than helped my team, you know, in, in winning what we did. You know, I scored in the, in the League Cup final, you know, I scored in the Europa League final. Um, you know, I, I came on when we were losing 1-0 in the, in the FA Cup final. So, you know, it wasn't the Michael Owen final, it was the Robbie final final, as, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, the last game of the season where we needed to, you know, to beat uh, Charlton to finish to finish fourth. Came up with the goods. Um, and obviously that, so, you know, I more than played my part in, you know, in an unbelievable season. So what was the feeling of this being like, almost like one of your last seasons for Liverpool? And you sort of know deep down that, you know, you're not really in the manager's fault. He'll, he'll tell you one thing and maybe do other things. But yeah, I mean, it, it's hard to take because, you know, Liverpool was, was my life and, you know, Liverpool was, even being honest, the only club I ever wanted to play for. Um, but you know, things happen in football and, you know, you do need to you know, adapt, you need to move on. Um, you know, as much as it was my decision to leave Liverpool, I felt as though I was forced out and I mean, that's that's the hard thing about it, you know. I wanted to play and I wanted to stay there, but you know things happen, and yeah, sometimes you're not you're not you're not always wanted, and I just didn't feel like as though I was wanted, so that's why I, I, I obviously left. So talking about that, how how important was it when Rafa came in and said, you know, we want you to join back in 2006? Was that big for you? Coming home to Liverpool, a club where I never ever wanted to leave. This this was the best thing ever for me. This was better than. This was better than scoring goals. This was better than winning trophies. Me going back to Liverpool was the best thing that ever happened to me on a football pitch. Um, sounds a little bit of a cliched answer, but nothing comes close to, as far as I'm concerned. OK, so you're in a burning building now. Okay. You have to save two kits. The first kit is based on your best memory wearing it, and the second kit is based on strictly how it looks. So you can pick any kit here, United, Everton, it's all good with I'm me. not picking a United one, <laughs> right? is, that, is that a trick question? Yeah. For the start, this one's come with me yeah. because of what it is. Um, when, you, when you say one kit, you mean one year, so I can I have can I have that as I'll one? I'll give you two, you're a legend, so, I'll give you two. Yeah, I'll give you right, two. Cheers. So I'm having that as one because of what it is. Oh, you know what You know what I'm taking? Go I'm taking this, I think. I, yeah. I, loved, I loved that one because this was the year, my full season back. Nice. So I think I'm taking that. I'm taking this one, Liverpool through and through. Love yeah, it. I am. Well, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. I'm trying to think what I'll just share. <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much.